it really depends on the year. And, and if uh, when we're fortunate, like we were in, in 2020 and had great corn quality, uh, we, we did some uh, quite a bit of analysis right around harvest time to to validate that we really didn't have a, a mycotoxin problem. And and then um, uh, really people uh, collect samples. We did, but we didn't do an awful lot of analysis um, of, of many of the you know, corn samples after we knew we had pretty good quality going. Uh, the um, This year, you're right, the drought has me worried about uh, yeah, most of the time when we've had mycotoxin issues, it's it's drought followed by a rainy fall is is when we really have the difficulties. Is you get the damage going on with the the ear and open it up for allowing the moisture to get in and and the and I think that's uh, we could be setting ourselves up to have some more issues again this year. In in those situations, then we have to be pretty aggressive in terms of, a, of analysis when we're uh, putting our own corn in the bin or buying grain uh, to put in the bin. Um, and looking at for whatever mycotoxin is the major one that that's been our concern, and that depends on the region of the country for us here in the U.S. Um, you know, most of the Corn Belt uh, vomitoxin is is probably the primary one, um, and certainly zerelinone can be an issue. Um, we get in the western parts here in Kansas or western Nebraska um, into Oklahoma. Fumonacin is uh, for us is a bigger issue many times than than vomitoxin, um, and you get into Southern, southeast Kansas or north north central Oklahoma, um, aflatoxin can be a real problem in, in some of those uh, pockets, um, and and that and so for us it's really very regionally located I think and and when I get in other countries uh, sometimes they're not as fortunate as what we are as our, ours seem to be the you know mycotoxin of the day that we're dealing with in our area um, some of those they're getting grains from all over the world and maybe dealing with a total unknown from from wherever that's coming from.